Hello and welcome to this Teach Active demonstration. My name is John Smedley and I'm delighted to be able to just talk you through Teach Active and what it is and allow you to make a really well informed decision about whether Teach Active is something that you feel would be useful and of course would impact and benefit your school. Um, as a teacher for 20 years, as a consultant advisor, deputy head, um, I know how busy you are. So I hope that by doing a little pre-recorded session, this allows you to watch this in your own time and, and of course answer some questions that you may have about Teach Active. So let me start off by telling you what Teach Active is. It's an online resource that provides teachers and teaching assistants with lesson plans and resources on how to deliver the English and the maths curriculum but through physical activity. This might be simply getting the children up and about in the classroom, it might be taking them down to the hall um, or other spaces that you have or indeed taking learning outside um, on a, a, of course when the weather allows us to. Um, it's not a scheme of work, um, Teach Active is just a huge bank of ideas and of resources, three and a half thousand plans, it's mapped to the uh, national curriculum, it runs from foundation stage all the way to year six, it covers all objectives um, and therefore it can be used to sit alongside and complement any planning or scheme of work that you are already using. I'd now like to show you a video of some children taking part in some Teach Active lessons and of course some teachers and head teachers talking about the impact and the difference that it's making at their school. Teach Active are passionate about active learning, incorporating physical activity into the English and maths curriculum and using this approach to really drive up attitudes and attainment within these key subjects. benefit from Teach Active because the minute we mention we're going to do one of the activities straight away they're keen to get involved, smiles on the faces and really want to join in which is just so pleasing as a teacher. But it gets the children engaged, it gets them active, gets them moving and thinking. Once you've tried it a couple of times it's a go-to for lessons because it is so easy. They can choose their objectives go to a drop down menu and the resources and lesson plans are there for you. That helps save teachers hours of planning time. The biggest thing is pupils really want to join in and take part with all the different activities that we've given them so I would definitely recommend it to other schools. Not only will it impact on your data, your standards, your outcomes but you'll see a renewed um, vigour and enthusiasm and enjoyment um, across both pupils and staff. Containing over 3,000 plans mapped to the primary curriculum and covering every objective from foundation stage to year six. Teach Active will save your teachers hours of planning time, will complement any scheme of work and it will really allow active learning to become embedded within your school. Okay, so before we go on to the benefits, what I'd like to do is just to share with you what the lesson plans look like and to give you a flavour of what you and your staff will be working with. So on the left hand side here you can see a typical lesson plan, of course there's three and a half thousand of these but they all have the same template, they've all got the year group, they've got the area of maths or English and then they've got the objective at which it's covering and then they've got some instructions for your teachers to follow. Now these can be followed um, exactly or like all great teachers they'll pick them up and adapt them and change them for your children um, and for your setting. But the great thing is that what teachers love is the resources that come with it. So you can see here this lesson plan is about matching digital and analog clocks. Um, so everything is here for you so we can give all the children uh, 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 one of the resources. They can move around the room and on the command they can go and find their partner. Great opportunities for their maths chat, number talks, some good opportunities for reasoning and then we can swap cards and go again. Of course it can be used for an intervention programme and I might just change the way that I play this game so I might have the children run and collect them and match them up. But this is key for all of the, the games. This year six game is number chase. So 20 multi-step problems where the answer from one clue will tell the children which clue to visit next and the answer to that one which one to visit next, next, next. So similar to perhaps to a maths orienteering which maybe we've all done and the children love it and they're engaged and they're enthused and it's helping learning but it might take us all of our PPA time or Sunday afternoon to plan it where here all of the resources are done for you. So at simply two, three, four clicks of a, 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 a button you'll be able to get the lesson plan and all the resources that you need. 
Um, and similar as well, that was a couple of maths activities where you'll do cover all of the writing and all of your grammar and your spag. So a year one game here where we're joining words and clauses with the word and. But this time the children are running and collecting parts of a sentence and we can see the resources are provided. What about here where we're asked to um, help children to organise paragraphs um, around a theme? Again, instructions and resources. You get the idea. And just finally to share with you then, um, if I move on to some reading resources, not only do we now provide the lesson plan, the resources, but we also provide the texts as well. So for this year four game, we need a story. It's provided for you. For this year two game, we need some poetry. It's all provided for you. So again, your staff don't have to go and look or that and go and find the texts. Um, it's all there. In terms of the benefits of Teach Active, why you should use this? Because, of course, you might already be... Um, teaching great maths and English lessons, children might be engaged and already love the subject. All I would say is this will help take it to that next level and, and, and just support that and support the quality and great work that you're already doing. I think one thing I've mentioned already is teachers love it. It saves them hours of planning time. If we want physically active learning to be embedded within our school, why not provide the staff with this resource? Um, written by maths and consultants and English consultants, pitched at age-related expectations, meeting all areas of the curriculum, it's going to be something they're going to really appreciate. In terms of the children, well, we're going to increase levels of physical activity. We know that this is huge on the agenda. We know that, of course, children are the least active that they've ever been. We know that, that comes with lots of complications. And we know that as schools, we're being challenged to make the school day more active and away from what we're being told, which is 70% sedentary. Rather than asking schools to do more, more initiatives, more add-ons, additional things, let's ask staff just to do what they're already doing, which is to teach English and maths, but to introduce some movement. And again, research, so we work in partnership with Loughborough University, and I do research into this. And what we do know is that rather than a sedentary lesson followed by a movement break of five minutes and a sedentary lesson, in order to get that sustainable change, we'd just be better to make the, our lesson more active in the first place. So if we can change that culture and ethos, we can um, certainly have some great benefits. Children are also going to love this. That's guaranteed. We know that from the thousands of schools that we work with in, over the UK and uh, across um, in seven different countries now as well. Children have a smile on their face, a twinkle in their eye. They're enjoying their learning. They're loving maths and English as a result of this approach. Not only that, but we're also going to support attainment. We know that children achieve better. And I'll share some examples of that with you in a moment. And of course, whole child development. So t social skills, teamwork, resilience, uh, determination, um, all of these things which we know um, that active children do better and provide opportunities for all of those key skills to be developed. So I mentioned um, about attainment. Um, let me just pick up on four of our ambassador schools, if you like, just to tell you about their journey. Holy Family School in Surrey, they're a school where their maths results were b below national average. They had a, a bit of an issue, um, especially with confidence towards the subject. So what they did is they introduced to Teach Active. Um, every class said that they'd do one session a week alongside their other planning. And as an intervention programme, they did it three times a week. This school went on a great journey and climbed from national averages to the top 2% of maths results nationwide. Similar on the maths front, Gladys Street and Liverpool were praised by Ofsted. Their approach to active maths saw them have an increase of 21% increase within 12 months. Duckmanton School, actually a school who improved all of their spag and their grammar, all of their writing through this approach. And now not only are children loving uh, this approach to improve them in that, they're now doing it with their reading and seeing remarkable results there as well. Kensington Primary School, uh, Primary School of the Year, the TES and uh, Health and Wellbeing of, this, uh, of the Year, again using this to improve their English standards and especially with those children with English as additional language and those softer skills. And on our website you'll find lots of testimonials and lots of case studies where we know that this is really making a key difference to children. So what I'd love to do is take this opportunity now to log on to the website to show you Teach Active so that you can really see exactly um, why it's so uh, loved by teachers and so easy to implement into your school day. 
So here you can see I've logged into the Teach Active dashboard. So once you subscribe to Teach Active, all of your teachers and teaching assistants, you can have unlimited users get their own dashboard. And this changes, um, we're always improving things, but we'll, some things will change. It might be that we'll enter, put competitions on there, some blogs and posts and news, and some things will remain the same and constant. So for example, how we access our maths and English lessons, our homework, so rather than sedentary homework, fun games and activities to play at home, things like your favorite lessons, but also here's book your free training. So every single school who subscribe to Teach Active, we provide you with free online training so that you can launch this for your staff and so that we can show them what is Teach Active, what are the benefits and how to use the resource. But let me share with you now um, how Teach Active works. So I've clicked on the maths and simply what I would do is using the filter on the left hand side, I'm going to choose my year group, I'm going to choose the um, area of maths, choose the objective I want to teach and then I will be presented with several games on how to teach that uh, um, objective through physical activity. So you can see I choose a year group, I'm going to choose year two, I then get every area of maths under the national curriculum. So we can have a look here and you can see how it can fit in easily with any planning that you're already following. I'm going to do addition and subtraction and then I'm going to choose my objective. Again, every objective from the curriculum. There isn't a single objective that we do not meet. In foundation stage, it's mapped to the development matters and then the early learning goals and then the national curriculum for years one to six. Um, let's scroll down and let's perhaps choose this objective, solve problems with addition and subtraction. And then what you can see is I would get a list of games on how to teach it through being up and active, through movement. Let's click on one of those games and what we'll see is that we'll then get the instructions here. We can have a look at it, we can see if we like that game and some of the games will be great for indoors, others we might need more space either outdoors or the hall. Some games you might like, some you might think oh, actually I want to change that a little bit of course. But once we've found the game that we like, and we can use that, then everything that we need for that game to go ahead is here on the right hand side. And just as I demonstrated to you before, it's the lesson plan and all of the resources. Additional things, I can copy and share this link and send it to other teachers. I can also um, add this to my favorites list so it's easily accessible next time I visit and I can start to plan blocks and units. And what you can see, for example, in the maths, it works the same for every single year group. So this time I'm going to go on to my year sixes. This time I'm going to perhaps choose measurement. And for my objective, I'm going to scroll down and go for convert between miles and kilometers. As soon as I do that, let's click a game. I think, oh, great. That sounds really interesting. There's my lesson plan and there's my resources of five minutes to get any lesson plan. Um, and the same, if I can just go over here onto the English, what we'll see now is here the filter system works um, in a very similar way. So again, year group, this time we'll go for year three, an area of English, I get to choose my reading or my writing. If I go down the writing route, all the areas of grammar and spag. So it's worth showing you, for example, if I go for my text level work, how can I get the children to master these key skills? An introduction to paragraphs, headings and subheadings, present perfect form of verbs. Let's click on one of those. Let's choose a game and it's a great activity. Now these activities can be used to inform planning. They can be used as part of a unit for that, helping them to master key skills and doing it just in a little bit of a different way. But it can also be used to help to revisit prior learning to help see if children can recall and see if that deeper learning has really taken place and children have mastered the key skills and can now retrieve that information. Um, works the same way for every year group, for every area of writing. But let me now show you the reading. And the reading is something that again art schools absolutely love. Why? Because of the quality of the plans and the enjoyment, but also because of the quality of the texts that are provided with this reading as well. So I'm asked to choose a genre, so I'm going to choose poetry, I'm, they've got my key skills, so author word choice, explain key facts, how content is related later, in, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to click inference for the purpose of this demonstration, and then I get a list of games on how to teach it through movement. 
let's have a look read of the instructions and as I mentioned to you we've got the lesson plan the resources but for this we also need the text so we've got here a fantastic poem which we can share as part of guided reading which we can use as part of our um, whole class lessons or again as part of interventions if I just come back, what we'll see is if, for example, I chose a different genre, let's for this time choose a story. Um, we'll go for Explain Key Facts and a game called Swapsies. Again, everything you need. And just to share with you that I get, once again, you get the text here as well. Okay, the final thing I'd like to share with you is the Teach Active homework. If we return to the dashboard here, Obviously our maths in English, we can access our favorite lesson plans here, which I've already shown you how to do that. With regards to the homework, we can just simply click on here. You can share this with your parents in one of two ways. You can simply just send them this link. So copy the link and share it with your parents, however you communicate the, the, with them. Once they um, put that link in their browser, they will be presented with this page, as well as a fitness challenge, a thought of the week and health tips, which change every week. There's a video on how to use the homework product. And what the parents simply do, the parents or carers, is, is again choose the year group, my child is in year three, and decide what is it that they need help with. So we don't complicate it with all the word for word objectives, just simply what do they need help with? Is it not times tables? Is it telling the time? Is it money problems? Let's maybe go for some money problems. And what we'll see here is then a few games that we can play at home. Um, Cash Dash being one of those games is a fun game that I can play at home with mum and dad which is going to help me. Um, again, if you actually would prefer to send them uh, this activity, you can simply open this and send them that as a paper copy or on Seesaw or Google Classrooms, whatever you may use. So that's the demonstration of Teach Active. I hope you found it useful. The final thing for me to tell you about is just the, with regards to pricing for your school. So as you can see the pricing there, Teach Active is an annual subscription. Um, you can buy maths or English as a single subject and you'll see the price is at £575. Um, there is a three-year option for that as well as you can see the pricing. Or our most popular is for those schools who want the Teach Active maths and English all together. The price at that is for £975 or again you can see there's a three-year license option. All of our um, licenses come with free whole school staff training where we deliver this online and, as I mentioned, launch it to all of your staff to ensure that you get maximum impact. And then between the months of 6 and 12, we would also deliver some more maximum impact to share some good tips and to keep um, all staff on top. Uh, with regards to active learning and Teach Active. So we do hope that this is something that you wish to consider and introduce into your school. I've got some contact details here to just finally finish with. My name's John Smedley and I look forward to working with you soon.